don't answer that. Hello. Bales, what's up? It's Deke. Got an assignment for you, should you choose to accept. I'm going to Treehouse for the Make-A-Wish Foundation right now. It would be ultra cool if we had a side table to display Legos that look like a four-stud Lego block. So I'm calling you for this to see if you're game. Heck it. Yeah. Uh, you know, Deke, I think we're actually a little bit... I'll do it. You will? The big is small three sizes that day. probably asking yourself how all these parts work together, and that's a great question. This half inch panel, which I'm calling the subtop, gets secured to the three quarter inch top. This creates a base plate for the two working studs, and also helps with alignment during assembly since the tops and sides are mitered. The two front studs are stationary. They're an inch thick, and I added centered dowels for perfect placement during glue up. The locking stud is an inch and three quarter thick with a center dowel extending through the base plate. The light switch stud is an inch and a half. This holds 5 eighths, this holds 3 quarters, that creates a positive stop or a shelf for the spring, which keeps everything under tension. This is the inside view. When the light switch stud is depressed, it will make contact with the actual switch. When the locking peg is rotated, it will move this piece of half inch plywood in and out of grooves cut on the back panel, which will either lock it in place or release. The grooves in the sub top are for the wire runs. Everything was cut as a mirror image, so these two pegs can be swapped depending on placement of the table within a room. I will
Hey, Little Wing. Time to go. Oh man, I've never had a treehouse before. You still don't. It's not yours. You are no fun.